<laughs> okay, since I've been easy in the past, you know, this is the caudal fin right here. If I stick a pin in that, just put down caudal fin. Uh, this is a male, and these are the claspers. So if I stick a pin in that, it would say claspers. This opening right here is the cloaca. So that's a cloaca there. The caudal fin, claspers, cloaca. Just inwards from that is this. This is the rectal gland. Rectal gland. I'm just going to ask you structure, so I'm not going to go over what they do. Um, did I give you the rectal artery? This mm -hmm. right here? No. Probably not. No. Oh, right. Okay, let's go over here. This. Uh, these are gills in here, obviously. So these are the gills in there. Now let's do some circulatory. With the circulatory, if I pin out this thing, that's the ventricle. Um, this is the conus arteriosus right there. So uh, ventricle here, conus arteriosus. This here. Here, this right here. I'll do it again. I'll do it a second time. Okay. This right here is the uh, sinus venosus, and these are the atri uh, the atrium. This is the atrium here. So atrium? that's the atrium there. This is the sinus venosus. This right here is the ventricle. This is the conus arteriosus. It goes into here. Uh, this is the ventral aorta. Then coming off of the ventral aorta, uh, you should be able to see the afferent arterioles. They would be in here. I don't see them very well, so I'm not going to point them out. The blood then goes through the gills, and the blood is going to come out of the efferent arterioles. And the efferent arterioles, again, I don't... Oh, there's, there they are right there. See this right here? That's an efferent arteriole. So the blood is doing this. It's going from here into the ventral aorta, to the afferent arterioles, oxygenated in the gills, then coming by way of these efferent arterioles, and what they're making is the aorta. This big giant blood vessel right here is the aorta, that one right there. Then here, uh, this is the celiac artery, and you can see it going to the small intestine. And then black, back here I have two arteries that cross. They're going to cross like this. One to the stomach and spleen, that's the gastrosplenic. And one to the intestine, that's the posterior intestinal. As far as blood vessels, that's really all I would have a tendency to do with the arteries. This yellow one here uh, is all hepatic portal. Everything that is injected yellow is part of the hepatic portal. As far as veins are concerned, even those, even though these are injected, I'm not going to do the cardinals. They're not so hard to see. I mean, this is common cardinal uh, here, common cardinal on one side, common cardinal on the other side, then the hepatics. I'm just not going to pin those out. I've got enough blood vessels. Then as far as digestive system, uh, liver, you know, here. It's kind of hard to see because it's flattened, but this is the gallbladder in there, that little thin section here is gallbladder. Then going back from that, uh, you can always tell the stomach because the stomach is a J-shaped organ. And to see the J-shape, you'd have to follow this down. This is going to be uh, pharynx, esophagus. Uh, this right here where it curves back up is going to be stomach. So here's the body of the stomach. Here's the pylorus of the stomach there. And then uh, we have the spleen, and we have the pancreas. Where's the pancreas? Does anybody see it? Nobody see the pancreas? <laughs> I'm not seeing it either. Should I go get my glasses? This is the pylorus of the stomach. Uh, this has got to be all the pancreatic tissue right here. That tissue right there that's off to the side. Usually it's more definitive than that and larger. That makes this all small intestine. It doesn't have parts to it really. It has those spiral valves. Uh, and then that brings us way back here to the rectum. 
So if I put a pin in there, you know, liver. If I put a pin in here, gallbladder. Uh, if I put a pin in here, small intestine. If I put a pin in here, that's going to be pancreas. If I put a pin in there, uh, that's going to be spleen. In terms of uh, urinary system, it's up here. The mesonephritic duct is up here. Uh, this is the mesonephro, so you can call it the kidney. And in terms of reproductive system, this which isn't attached anymore, but it should have been attached right about there, is a testis. And the reason I know it's a testis is because it has claspers that makes it a male. So when you're doing the gonad, do mention whether it's a testis or an ovary by looking at the claspers to see if you have a male or a female. This is a clasper here. They're only found on males. Females, the, the fin is going to finish up just like that. But what I'm anticipating is that I'll pin out like, you know, three or four things from this. They're going to be obvious, at least some of them, you know, probably at least one blood vessel. And I usually pick either the celiac or these back here that cross if they're big enough. Uh, you know, the liver, only because, uh, you know, I've got to put some easy questions on there. The gallbladder, you know, the stomach, uh, the spleen, the pancreas. You know, those are the main things. Anyway, does anybody have any questions about the shark? The other one, a female? The other one is uh, a female, even though the, the fins have been removed. Uh, there's no claspers on the fins. So see, this is a clasper that's a male. And here's a female, and it would be, uh, let's see, um, this side here, so the tissue would be a test like that. Notice how she has this big fin here with no clasper on it. There would be a clasper right there. But the gonads would have been the same? Uh, the gonad over here is going to be the ovary. It's going to look very, very similar. Um, I don't see the ovary over here, to tell you the truth. But if you see there's no claspers, when you see the gonads, it's an ovary. has claspers, you see the gonads, it's a, a testis. Okay, and where's the celiac? Again? The celiac is this big one here that comes off, and it goes to the stomach, goes to the spleen, just kind of like it does in, uh, in humans. Mm -hmm. You know, the celiac comes off of the aorta. So on this one, I'd real likely I'd pin off the celiac. How about the blue one right here? Uh, that's the posterior cardinal. Uh, I'm not going to pin that out. Can we go over them? That's what that's mm -hmm. And the esophagus well, there? Really yeah, that's esophagus there. Okay. And the pharynx is where he opens his mouth. All of this is pharynx. This is esophagus. And this part here. How about this part? This where it gets kind of the flappy tissue here, that's stomach body of the stomach, pylorus of the stomach, where it curves back up. But blood vessels that I could ask, um, the efferent arteries coming out of the gills, uh, the celiac artery, uh, the gastrosplenic, this one is the posterior intestinal, and this one over here is the gastrosplenic. Um, the gastrosplenic, which is it? Which one? The gastrosplenic, all you have to do is trace it. Just trace it, the one that goes to the stomach. So see how they cross? Uh -huh. The one that goes back is the intestinal, the one that goes forward to the stomach uh, and the uh, spleen is the gastrosplenic. Okay. So this one is gastrosplenic and that is posterior okay. intestinal. If it comes out of the gills, it's apparent? It yeah. In yeah, the heart is, will be asked too. So um, this is the ventricle. Blood goes from sinus venosus here mm -hmm. uh, into the atrium. So if I pin it there, that's the atrium. Into the ventricle, into the conus arteriosus, all those are pretty obvious. Into the ventral aorta, then the afferent arteries into the gills, and then the efferent arteries are coming out here, and they all collect together to make the dorsal aorta. And the dorsal aorta on this <coughs> is not so very vis visible because it's still in the body wall. There it is, there, that, that red that's in the body wall is a dorsal aorta. And branching off of it, we have the celiac, we have the gastrosplenic, and we have the posterior intestinal, and we have the rectal, which is back here. I don't know if I gave you that one.
Well, really, you need to know everything that's on the list, but think about what I'm going to do. I'm, I want to pin out things that are not ambiguous. I want to pin out things.